Abby, thanks a lot. Good news for dog owners in South Bend. The city just opened its first dog park. WSBT 22's Danielle Kennedy is here. And Danielle, the space has been an unofficial dog park for years. Rick, this lot is next to the old Madison Center along Niles Avenue. The entire property, including the unofficial dog park, was purchased a few months ago by a local developer, Matthews LLC. Now, while the company decides what to do with that piece of land, the developer is leasing it to the South Bend Parks Department for a dollar a year. This one is going to the dogs. Let them get out and have fun like we did when we were kids going to a park. Today is the first day Darnell Nelson took his dog Chico to the park along Niles Avenue. Now, South Bend's first dog park. This is a, a good like place for the dogs just to come like and just have fun with each other and have a good time. And I can bring my chair and just sit down and just eat. <laughs> this is something big, you know, and I think that this could be something that will hopefully promote more opportunities to create common public spaces uh, throughout our community. Jonathan Jones with Matthews LLC says for a dollar a year, South Bend Parks can lease the land as their pilot dog park. The hope is that this is very successful and uh, uh, if and when the, the land is developed, we'll uh, take the lessons learned from this park and uh, put, put a permanent one somewhere else in the city. But in the coming weeks, this spot along the East Bank Trail will be prime real estate for play. South Bend Park says they plan to install benches, a fire hydrant, and obstacles for dogs to use. We're excited to bring surprising and delightful solutions to the community, even when our budgets may be tight. Even a fence will go up to separate areas for big and small dogs, like Muffin. She kind of handles her own. She's fine. The Parks Department will even provide doggy bags, because remember... Clean up your boo-boo at the park. We don't want to step in nothing. Now, right now, the city is responsible for all maintenance and costs for the dog park's property. Many of those new many amenities that I mentioned should be installed by May 1st. The city or the developer still aren't sure how long this spot will stay a dog park. It's also worth noting, though, that next Monday, the city council will hear a proposal for a resolution that would create a committee to make recommendations on developing more off-leash dog parks in the city of South Bend. Rick? Danielle, thank